Hello, everyone. Empezamos en dos minutos, chicos. Ok, teacher, ok. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, I'm back again. Let me call the attendance before we continue. Right, we have here today. Give me a moment. Estamos el lunes. Uy, de todo de julio. Cinco de julio. Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Ese. Present. Okay, thank you. Alfredo Alexander Rodas Rodríguez. Present. Thank you. Carla Marisa Sánchez Mesa. Present. Thank you. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present. José Matías Lemos Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Yamilet Espinosa Ventura. Kene Elizabeth Vanegas Lemos. Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel. Present. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Maydeli Judith Díez Rivera. Present. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Present. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Okay. One second. Eh, Walter Daniel González Pérez. Walter Daniel, ok, no. Eh, William Eduardo Pérez García. Ok, so we have there the attendance for today. Right, we're going to practice here. We have a new topic to cover, right? So let me show you in this moment. Oops, give me a second. Vamos a cerrar esto acá. Un segundito. Oh, la Mal creado. Ponga mute. Ya leímos la mal creadeza. No había fijado. Hoy ya la dijo. Hoy ya quedó grabado. Ok. Now, let me show you here. 
Today we're gonna see a new topic, right? Today is class number 11. Right, tenemos la clase número 11. And for this class, we're going to have the present continuous, right? For future events, right? Uh, desde ya se los menciono, right? El tema es present continuous for future events, pero vamos a ir paso a paso, porque el present continuous tiene diversos usos. Entonces, ahora vamos a ver el uso básico y luego nos vamos a ir moviendo para llegar a future events, ¿ok? No nos vamos a ir de un solo a future events porque necesito que conozcan lo más básico para irse moviendo a esa estructura que es un poquito más complicada. Right? Solamente por el sentido, no porque todo present continuous tiene la misma forma. Para eso, right, we're going to do a review. Vamos a recordar rapidito lo que vimos la semana pasada, sobre todo el viernes. And at the end of the class, I was asking some questions, right? Do you use an adverse of frequency? Because I want to make sure that you can use adverse of frequency, right? So because of that, I would like to ask right now, Mr. Victor David Pelsadilla, right, to tell me uh, what things do you worry about? What things do you sometimes worry about? Worry is preocuparse. What things do you sometimes worry about? Vean todas las preguntas, right? Porque ya puede que le pregunte a uno de ustedes. Van a ser cuatro, cinco personas a las que le voy a preguntar. Por ejemplo, I sometimes worry about, about my work, about my job. It's too difficult sometimes. Right? What about you? I sometimes worry about money too. Okay. What about you, Victor? What do you sometimes worry about? I sometimes worry about uh, buy uh, provider. To buy the providers. Excellent, Victor. Very good. Carla Marixa. What do you never do in the mornings? Mm, I never have breakfast on time. <gasps> okay, me neither, so don't worry. <laughs> Very good. Now choose one person, Victor, and you choose one person, Carla Marixa. Escojan una persona cada uno. Domingo. Okay. Marlon. Okay, very good. So, Domingo. Tell me, Domingo. Let's see here. Señor Domingo, what kind of movies do you hardly ever watch? What kind of movies do you hardly ever watch? Thank you very much. The movies. What kind of movies do you hardly ever watch? Hardly. Mm -hmm. Uh. After I got the a kid of movies, hardly ever. Uh, For example, I hardly ever watch um, Japanese movies. I hardly ever watch um, romantic movies. They are too boring. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, hardly. Uh, hardly uh, ever. Uh, I uh, hardly uh, ever. I hardly ever uh, movies, action movies. I hardly ever watch, watch action movies. Well, uh, uh, hardly ever watch action movie. Very good. Thank you so much, Domingo. Yeah. And Marlon, yes? Eh, pero ahí le estaba preguntando qué películas de niños son las que mira, ¿verdad? No. Hmm? What kid? 
of movie. No, kind Needles. of tipos de. Oh, kinds okay. of tipos de. ¿Se recuerda kind of? Yes, 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 tipos yes. Tipos yes. de. Mm -hmm. Niños es kids. 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 Okay. Marlon. Tell me, Marlon. Uh, what kind of food do you rarely eat? Well, I, I rarely eat Japanese food too. Okay, very good. I rarely eat Japanese food. And Domingo choose one person, Marlon choose another one, and we finish with this activity. Domingo choose one person, Marlon choose one person. Rapidito. Karina. Okay, Karina. Alba. Alba. Very good. Karina. Tell me, Karina, what do you often do on the weekends? Uh, teacher, ¿qué significa weekend? Fin de semana. Uh, what do you often do on the weekends? I often do that weekends and Pasar Carmen. Okay, in this case, uh, you can say, I often go to Paseo El Carmen. I often go. No se olvide del I, verbo. I often go Paseo El Carmen. To Paseo El Carmen. To Paseo El Carmen. Okay, good. I often go to Paseo El Carmen. Very good. Thank you so much. And Alba... We go with you, Alba. Tell me, Alba, what kind of things do you never do in your free time? For example, in I my case, uh -huh. yeah, I never. I never. Este. What kind of things you never do in your free time? Never. No, what kind of things you no, no, never no, no. do? In my case, I never play video games in my free time. In my case, of course. I never, I never, I never movies or roar. I never, what is the verb? I, I never, I see. See no, or no. Watch. Watch, see? watch? Watch. I never watch movie terror. Horror movies. Yes. Uh -huh. I never watch horror movies in my free time. Repeat. I never. Watch. Repeat. I never watch horror movies in my free time. Harlem, Harlem movies. Ay, ya, último no la escuché bien. Okay, listen. I never watch horror movies in my free time. I never watch horror Har movies. Harlem movies. Horror. Horror hmm? movies. In my free time. In my free time. In my free time. In my free time. Very good. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and get working here. Okay. Now we continue here. Thank you, Alba. Let's see here the next practice. We have the dates, right? And we have practice with the ordinal numbers, right? We have ordinals. If I have here, the first row, we have four missing, right? On your computer, you can complete, on your notebook, you can complete the others, but here you're going to tell me in speaking orally, okay? Carlos Gualberto, tell me the numbers that are missing here. Pronunciation. And in the chat, you write the correct form. In the chat, usted me escribe como se... Escriben en números, right? 
¿Todo lo escrito o los pronuncio ahorita? Pronunciación también. The first row. Okay, Primero. Y después me los escribo. Yes, please. Ok, ¿hasta qué número? Ten. Ten. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Tenth, very good. Now write the ones that are missing. Here it says first is number one, ST. Now write the others. It's just this one, Walberto, is third. 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 Very good. Third. third. Excellent. Now let's see. It's Cristina Roxana. Are you available? Cristina. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, pronunciation, Cristina, of this row, todos. Eleven. Uh -huh. Los que faltan después. Uh -huh. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. 19, 20, 12, 20th, 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 very good, and Alfredo, let's go with the last row, Twenty first, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 30th, 31st, 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 very good, 31st, First. excellent, please write the numbers that are missing, let's see here, Carlos Valberto, ¿dónde están los que hacen falta? Cristina, veamos, Uh -huh. Write the ones that are missing and the other ones. Right, los demás también hagan una captura de pantalla right, y escriban los suyos, practiquen. Pronunciation to 12. Very good, Cristina. 12. Now, let's continue. Escribanlo. Mientras ellos lo escriben, seguimos aquí con la práctica. Right, 15th. Very good. We continue with the practice. Now, I'm gonna ask you here, we have one, two, three, eight, eight different numbers. I will, I'm going to ask you here, and you're going to tell me with your pronunciation, right? How do you pronounce this? For example, the first one is March 12th. And you, after you pronounce, you are going to write it in the chat as well. Después de pronunciarlo, Right? Lo van a escribir en el chat. Pero como pueden ver, ahora es un poquito más largo. Van a escribir el mes y la fecha. Ok? We start with Matías. Matías, number two. April. Eleventh. Eleventh. Oh. Very good. Eleventh. Eleventh. And number three? January sixteenth. Uh, sixteenth, very good. January sixteenth. Number four, Alba. February ninth. Uh -huh. Ninth. Okay. Nine. February ninth. Ninth. Very good. February ninth. Now, let's continue with Marlon. October 1st, May 22nd, and July 3rd. October 1st, May 22nd, and July 3rd. Very good. And the last one, Domingo. 
August twenty. August. August twenty. Thirtieth. Okay. Thirty. August thirtieth. Very good. August thirtieth. Yes. Very good. Give me a moment. Okay, August 30th. Now, we have here, right, the pronunciation, write it in the chat. Six, seven, okay, very good, Carlos. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. Very good. And what about you, Matias? You haven't written anything. ¿Cómo se escribe? No en números, en letras. Los que acaban de participar tienen que escribir los suyos también. Eight. El, 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 number, el número dos y el número no. tres. Yes. Vamos, vamos. Alba, you have number three. Marlon, you have number five, six, seven. And Domingo, number eight. Mm -hmm. October 1st. Very good. Remember, months of the years with capital letters. Todos los meses del año. Van con letra mayúscula, todos, en todo momento. Ok, now, we continue, mientras lo esperamos a ellos, right? I want you to help me with the pronunciation of the months of the year. Please help me, Nancy. Months of the years. Where are you, Nancy? Ok, Nancy, Lizette. The first... Six months of the year. Los primeros seis meses. No, January. No, January. No, January. January. February. 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 March. April. May. June. June. Okay, April. April. Okay, January. Repeat, January. January. No, January. no, January. No, escúchame. No, January. No, January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. Thank you. Victor, can you repeat the first six months of the year, please? Victor David. Lo primero, por aquí. Yes, please. January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Victor. Maideli, can you please repeat the last six months of the year? July, August, September. November, December. Okay, very good. September, October, November, and December. Very good. So we have this. Any questions about this practice? Any question about unit number two? Preguntas? Not much. No? Okay, 11th January, very good. 30th, está mal escrito, Domingo? 30th, 30th, mira acá, e -E, 30th, okay, todo lo demás está perfecto, now, if we don't have more questions, let's talk yeah, about, you. let's talk about this, right, pay attention to this, it says, who schedules the events at your workplace? Who schedules the events at your workplace? What are some events that are taking place next week? For example, at Inglés Corporativo, right? Elena schedules the events in my workplace, right? Elena, Elena is the supervisor. Right? Elena schedules the events at my workplace. Right? 
some events that are taking place next week are new courses, a special meeting on Tuesday, right? And a meeting with the students, right? With the new students. So we have who sketches the events at your workplace, Marlon? Well, at my workplace, the engineer coordinator schedule the events. Very good. Thank you so much, Marlon. Carla Marixa, who schedules the events at your workplace? I schedule the events at my workplace. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now, uh, let's see, Marilyn, who schedules the events at your workplace? Teacher, voy manejando. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> now let's see, Maydeli, who schedules the events at your workplace? My boss schedules the events at my workplace. Very good. Excellent job. Now, what are some events that are taking place next week, Alfredo? Ah, no está poniendo atención. <laughs> Some events that are taking place next week are meetings with the students, a new courses, and a special meeting with the teachers. Some uh -huh. events that, talking, uh, that are taking. They are taking, and the next week, um, repair the machines. Mm -hmm. And meeting with my manager. Mm -hmm. Manager is gerente, verdad? Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Only. very good. Only that. Very good. Walter Only. Daniel, what are some events that are taking place next week? Walter Daniel. Cosas, cosas que haga en la semana, eso es lo que me está preguntando. No. ¿Qué eventos van a tomar lugar la otra semana? Um, I... Mm. Mm. Se los puede escribir al chat, teacher. Ok. Recuerde que hay práctica de pronunciación también. Escríbalos. Víctor David, what are some events that are taking place next week in your workplace? In next event, uh, meeting with a worker. Uh -huh. Meetings and, with co-workers, okay, what else? And meeting with providers, okay. meeting with clients. Meeting with clients, okay, meeting with providers, meetings with clients, very good, right? So now that we have talked about this, let's move to the next practice, right? In the next practice, right, we have a small conversation. This conversation is on your book, okay? Now we have Peter and Henry. Peter and Henry. Pongan atención a la pronunciación que voy a escoger a un par para que después practique la pronunciación, okay? So please pay attention. We're gonna start here. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too, so I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? 
guess what? I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, let's do it one more time. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hey, Peter. Well, Maria is. But Julie is attending the conference this year too, so I see. But if Julie is attending, who is delivering the presentations for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, now we have there the conversation. I want you, Victor, to be Peter. I want you, Carla Marixa, to be Henry. Teacher, I can't read because I'm driving. Oh, uh, uy. okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. William is going to help me. Okay, William, you're Henry. Okay, Victor, you're Peter. Okay. Victor David, se durmió. ¿Dónde está Victor David? Se fue Victor David. Okay, help me out, Maideli. Please be Peter. Peter. Hello, Henry. I have a question. Who is representing the company in the jury conference? Peter. Well, please. Julie is attending the conference. This year too, so. I see, but July is attending. Who is delivering the presentation for the CEO next week? Get what? I am attending the tour. So sweet. So I am informing the committee about it. Okay, very good. About it, repeat. About, about it. it. Very good. Thank you so much, Maideli. Thank you, William. Now I need two more people, right? Peter is going to be Matias and Henry is going to be Cristina Roxana. Okay. 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 Peter. Hello, Henry. I have I have a question. Who is representing the company in the yearly conference? Hi, Peter. Well, Maria is, but Julie is attending the conference this year too. So I see. But if Julie is attending who is delivering the, 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 the presentation for the CEO next week? Guess what? I am. I am presenting with Hector, the new accountant. Sounds great. So I am inform, informing the committee about it. Okay, very good. I am informing the committee about it. Okay, very well, very well. So we have there, right, the conversation. I want you to pay attention to the word symbol. Is attending the conference. Julie is attending the conference. Julie is attending. I am presenting. 
I am informing. Right, so now I want you to pay attention. Vamos, ya, vamos a movernos del simple present, right? So, give me a moment. We're going to move from the simple present and we're going to move to the present progressive. Pongan atención, voy a hacer pequeñas pausas mientras estamos explicando por si tienen preguntas, ¿ok? Pero presten atención, right? Forget about your cell phone, pay attention. We have here the present continuous or present progressive. Pero déjeme, man tengo manchado ahí la pizarra. Ok, very well. Okay, so what happens here? We have present continuous. The present continuous is also known as present progressive. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ninguna, solo el nombre, right? Pero es lo mismo. Así que si les digo progressive, es lo mismo que continuous, okay? No es algo totalmente distinto. It's exactly the same. La misma cosa, right? Then with the present continuous, we have three uses. Things that are happening now, temporary situations, and future plans. El módulo nos pide que veamos desde ya future plans, pero nosotros vamos a ver primero things that are happening now, temporary situations, y luego future plans. ¿Ok? Para que entendamos los tres. Tres usos que tiene el presente continuo. Uses. Things happening now. I am watching the whiteboard. Things that are happening now. I am speaking English. Things that are happening now, you are paying attention. Están poniendo atención. Things that are happening now, my daily is writing on her notebook. Right? Things that are happening now, Carla Marixa is driving her car. Right? Victor is connecting to the internet. Porque se le fue, se está conectando. He's connecting to the internet. Right? Alfredo is eating. Alfredo is eating. Right? Things that are happening at the moment of speaking or at the moment of writing. Cuando decimos el primer uso, right? Es para cosas que están pasando en el momento que estamos hablando o en el momento que estamos escribiendo. Una de dos. Right? So. Ese es el uso. La estructura va a ser la misma para los tres usos. ¿Ok? Pero el uso que le vamos a dar va a ser distinto. El significado que le vamos a dar. Right? Now, temporary situations. Temporary situations. What are temporary situations? Look at the example. She's staying with her aunt. She's staying with her aunt. Se está quedando con su tía. Huh? Just for a moment. Right? In my case, I am taking, I am taking a certification in evaluation. Right? I am taking a certification on evaluation. On evaluation. Estoy tomando un diplomado en evaluación. ¿Cuánto dura el diplomado? Cuatro semanas. Temporary situation. Es una situación temporal. ¿Pero qué está sucediendo? ¿Estoy tomando en estos momentos el certificado? No. Pero sí dentro de este mismo tiempo el que estamos hablando. Right? So in this case, you can say, I am taking an English course. Right? Ustedes pueden decir eso también. Oh, I am taking an English course. I attend classes every day. Right? Estoy tomando un curso de inglés. Right? Tengo clases todos los días. Right? Look at the two things that we have. Right? You can also say, for example, right? When you are a teacher, los profesores tenemos esto. Trabajamos por horas. Right? I am working at Inglés Corporativo this month. Right? That's a temporary situation. That's a temporary situation. Oh, I am watching a movie. It's happening now. My husband is watching a movie in the living room. It's a situation that is happening at this moment, right? 
Ven la, do, ven la diferencia entre una, el primero y el segundo. Okay, now let's do number three. Number three is future plans. Okay, podemos utilizar el present continuous para hablar sobre planes de futuro. Look at this. We are having an exam next Friday. Right? Now next one. You, you are, you are completing your activities tomorrow. You are completing your English activities tomorrow. I am eating, I am eating a uh, sweet bread tomorrow morning with coffee, right? Yes, Matias? Uh, I am sleeping before the English class. Before is English past. Class. Before significa antes de, entonces ya nos referiríamos al pasado. Entonces aquí queremos decir, I am sleeping after, after. the English class. Okay. After, after the English class. Very good. I am sleepy. I am going to bed after the English class. Ya, me voy a dormir, right? You can say, I am having dinner at 10 p.m. That's the future, right? I am having dinner after the class. Right? Después de, right? So, and we can say here, right? Well, the form, ya vamos a ver la forma, right? Las estructuras, las fórmulas que se crea. Affirmative, negative, interrogative, of course. Ya la vamos a ver. Time expressions. In the present continuous, usually we use time expressions such as now, at the moment, today, this week, right? Estas son frases que podemos utilizar. ¿Qué otras frases podemos utilizar? Next Friday, right? Next week, week for the future, right? Next weekend for the future. Position at the end of the sentences. She's staying with her aunt this week. I am having dinner after the class. After the class, it's going to be my time expressions. ¿Dónde vamos a poner las time expressions? Position at the end of the sentence. Okay. Al final de la oración. Al final de la oración. Right? Now, ¿entendemos hasta el momento esta diapositiva? ¿Esta explicación? ¿Sí? Si alguien tiene la duda, yes, por favor, pregunte. Yes, the, the, yes. Los usos nada más me... No. No lo entendí bien. ¿Cuál es uso? No entendió. Al principio, donde dice, donde está explicando las, las primeras tres de los usos. Ajá, ¿cuál uso no entendió? ¿Cuál de los tres? El primero. El primero. Ah. You are asking a question right now. Usted está haciendo una pregunta en estos momentos. That is things that are happening now. Cosas o situaciones que están sucediendo en este momento. Ese es el primer uso. Vamos a utilizar el present progressive para expresar cosas que están pasando en este momento. Ahí decíamos, Carla is driving. Carla and Marilyn are driving their cars. Right? Usted la ve, las dos van manejando ahí. Carla sí. and Marilyn are driving. Right? Alba Dinora is speaking with her family members. Right? She's speaking with them. Carlos Gualberto is touching his head. Right? He's touching his hair. Right? Karina is writing on her notebook. Right? Todos les estoy describiendo qué acciones están haciendo cada uno en estos momentos. Right? Eso estamos haciendo. Right? Describiendo qué están haciendo cada uno de ellos en estos precisos momentos. Ese pues es el primer bien. uso. Entonces usaríamos siempre el verbo to be. Sí, ese es el present, ah, el present sí, continuous. Sí, sí. Ya les voy a enseñar uh -huh. la fórmula. Ya les voy a enseñar uh -huh. la fórmula. Primero, el uso. ¿Para qué voy a usar uh -huh. esto? Porque no importa que no sepamos la fórmula de PAPA, pa, si no vamos a saber en qué momento utilizarlo. ¿Okay? Entonces uh -huh. tenemos que saber por qué estoy usando esto. 
¿para qué lo voy a usar? Lo voy a usar para expresar cosas que están sucediendo en el momento que hablamos, para expresar situaciones temporales y para hablar de planes a futuro. Esta es una, es el present continuous, es una forma de expresar el futuro. Hay varias, ¿ok? No okay. es la única, hay varias. Ok. Ahora sí, Domingo, ¿vamos bien? Sí, solo, ajá, solo una, una aclaración un poquito más. Eh, en todo caso, solo para expresarlo de, la, de las acciones que están pasando en el momento. Ese es el primer uso. Es el primer uso, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El segundo uso es para expresar situaciones temporales. Uh -huh. right? For example, I would say um, this week. Ah, this week I am preparing the new lessons for another institution. Estoy preparando las clases para otra institución. Right? A temporary situation. Right. O cuando usted trabaja por honorarios, right? Si trabaja por honorarios, ah, I am working for uh, Walmart this week. Right? Está trabajando para Walmart esta semana, una situación temporal. Right? Ahí es cuando lo va a utilizar. Y la última es para planes a futuro. Right? I am traveling to Honduras next month. Right. Qué gala. I am traveling to Honduras next month. I am taking the COVID vaccine in August. Right. Me voy a poner la vacuna en agosto. Right. Pero son planes que usted ya tiene. Right. Now. ¿Estamos claros ahí? ¿Todos? Yes. yes. ¿Sí? Bye. Ahora vamos con lo siguiente. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no, le entendí lo primero, el uso de for, for, ya la segunda parte si no lo entendí. Che, el for, no lo he explicado todavía, ahorita lo voy a explicar. Ah, okay. Sí, la fórmula ahorita la vamos a explicar, porque aquí solo están los ejemplos. Pero lo vamos a hacer acá. Ahí, ¿Ven la pantalla blanca? No, teacher. No, teacher. ¿No? No. Vale, veamos otra vez. Un segundo. ¿Ahora sí? Me está cargando, Ticho. Ahí sí. Ya sí. Okay, we're gonna do present progressive here. I want you to pay attention, please, so we can work together. Right? On this. Right, present progressive. Or present continuous. El mismo chango con doble nombre. Okay. Now with this, we're going to do here, right, our formula. And what is going to be the formula for this? Right. Present progressive formula. Please pay attention. Permíteme, vamos a apagar el micrófono. Por favor, mantengan su micrófono apagado. Now, we're going to do the formula. We're going to have the subject, right? Plus the verb be. Plus, right here. Subject plus verb be. Right? Plus ver in ing form. Plus the complement. That is the main formula. Right? Esa es la fórmula principal. And this is going to be for affirmative sentences. Right? Subject plus verb B plus verb with ing plus complement. This is going to be affirmative sentences. Right? Now, what are we going to do here? We're going to have subject Tell me a subject, eh, Alfredo. Alex. Alex, okay, Alex. Now, if I have Alex, Alba Dinora, what is the verb be that I should use with Alex? What is the conjugation? Is, are, or am? Um? 
Alba. Is. Is. Ok. Alex. Is. Now tell me a verb, Marlon. Taking or take. Take. Plus in. ing. Very good. Take in this case is going to be taken. El verbo, como decía Marlon acá, es take. Right. Vamos a ver aquí después cómo lo vamos a cambiar. Right. Le vamos a quitar la E. And then we add ing. Alex is taken. Is taking what? What is he taking? What is he taking, Sylvia? Taking English class. English classes. English classes. Okay. And when is he taking English classes? Tell me a time expression. Dígame una de las expresiones de tiempo. Matías. In the... Uh, in? In the morning. In the morning? O oh, tiene que ser ahorita. Yeah. Let's do it right now. Mm -hmm. In the night. At night. At night, ahí ya nos vamos para, para simple future. In this moment. Right? In this moment. En estos momentos. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the here. Subject. Verb B. Verb with ing. Complement. Right? What is the complement? All of it. Todo lo que tenemos después del verbo es un complemento. Ah, Silvia, pero este que está acá es un time expression. Of course, yes, it is. Right? In this moment, is a time expression. Right? Pero así vamos a irlas practicando. Right? Time expression. ¿Para qué nos va a servir la time expression? Para saber y dar más información acerca de lo que estamos escribiendo. Right? Is necessary a time expression? Yeah, if you want to be very specific, right? Si quieres ser específico, dígala, right? Now, do we understand in this case how is this created? Right now we are with affirmative form. Solo con la forma afirmativa. Nancy, ¿se entiende? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay. Now, let's continue with the negative form, right? With the negative form, you know, we like to be very uh, easy with this. We take the same sentence, vamos a agarrar la misma oración, right? la misma fórmula, right? Nos vamos para acá, exactamente la misma, Nancy, right? We just put here, negative, okay? Then between the verb be and the verb with ing, En medio del verbo to be y el verbo with ing, we're going to put not. And that's it. That is the negative form. So we can write again, right? Alex. Alex is not taking English class in this moment. He is watching TV. Right, Alex is not taking English class in this moment. Right, he is watching TV. Right, that would be the negative form. Esa sería la forma negativa. Teacher, ahí yes? no, 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 no es obligación ponerle el do o el das. No, aquí ya no estamos hablando del simple present. Estamos hablando present progressive. Es otro okay. tiempo verbal. Mm -hmm. okay. Aquí ya no vamos a utilizar ni el do ni el das. Estas son las fórmulas que vamos a utilizar para crear nuestras oraciones. No es que no lo vayan a utilizar en las prácticas de crear conversaciones o cosas así, ¿verdad? Sino que en este momento no. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos bien? Yes? yes? Okay. Very good. So we have this 
here, right? In the negative form, and then we the make question, the question. We make the questions exactly. So what do we make with the questions? You know, always easy peasy, right? Subject. Where in subject, we just change it exactly. We just change it here, right? No nos gusta complicarnos la vida, right? So what do we do? We delete not. Quitamos el not porque no lo vamos a utilizar para preguntas. Right? We're making questions. Yes, no questions. Right? Yes, no questions. So with this, we're just going to move the verb. The verb B, we're going to move it to the beginning of the sentence. Lo movemos al inicio de la oración, de la pregunta. Right? We change the position as always. Right? And we do the same here. Right. Is Alex taking English class? ¿Y qué le falta? ¿Qué le falta mi pregunta? What is missing in this question? Question mark. The question mark. Very good. The question mark is missing. So here we put it after the complement, a question mark. And then here also a question mark. Is Alex taking English class in this moment? Right. Then we need to give answers, right? Tenemos que dar las respuestas acá, and we're gonna call them yes, no answers. What could be the yes, no answer to this, Matias? Is Alex taking English class in this moment? Yes. Yes? He. He. He is, he. exactly. Yes, he is. In the negative? No, he's not. No, he isn't. Okay? No, he isn't. ¿Por qué no escribe esto? Okay. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Right. No, this no, will no. be our no, he isn't. No puede ser he's not. No, it's a just no answer. De acuerdo a la gramática prescriptiva, tiene que decir yes, he is. No, he isn't. Right? Then we have here. Our yes no questions, right? We have our yes no answers, right? Here. And our negatives and our affirmative forms, right? Estas son las tres fórmulas que necesitamos para crear el presente progresivo. Right? Las mismas, las mismas fórmulas vamos a utilizar para los tres usos que hablamos anteriormente. La misma fórmula. Lo único que nos va a ayudar acá van a ser las time expressions. Okay? Porque podemos decir, mm -hmm. si yo digo, tomorrow. Alex is taking English classes tomorrow. That will be future. Right? Mm -hmm. Alex is taking English classes this month. Temporary situation. Right? Entonces, las time expressions nos van a ayudar a expresar, a describir, ¿En qué momento está, se está realizando la acción? Si va a ser en el momento en el que estamos hablando, si va a ser una situación temporal o si va a ser una situación a futuro, un plan. ¿Ok? Por favor, copien los ejemplos, véanlos y díganme si tienen preguntas. Escriban sus propios ejemplos en este momento, una afirmativa, una negativa, una pregunta con su respuesta. No utilicen el mismo verbo take, que okay? utilicen otros verbos. Cook, write, speak, right? uh, watch. Veamos, escribamos nuestros ejemplos. Después que copien, escriban sus ejemplos. Uno en afirmativo, uno en negativo, una pregunta y una yes no question. Cuando la hayan escrito, la escriben en el chat también para ver cómo la están escribiendo. Vamos. Así vamos a ver si hemos comprendido lo que estamos trabajando.
Marisela, why didn't you tell me before? Mira, qué pesar. Teacher. ¿Por qué pagan bastante bonito? <laughs> yes. Eh, en verde en este momento se puede poner right now. Yes, you can use right now. In this moment, right? Okay. Let's see. Gilberto is playing the guitar. The guitar. A ver si sirve para mí. Una. Now. En lo que trabaja voy a pasar lista. ¿Les puedo quitar aquí la pantalla un momento? Yes. ¿O lo están utilizando? Yo lo estamos ocupando. Lo están ocupando, ok. Paso asistencia entonces un ratito. Alba Dinora Vides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander Rodas Rodríguez. Present. Carla Marisa Sánchez Mesa. Present. Carlos Gualberto Rodríguez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Present. Domingo Alexander González. Present, teacher. José Matías Lemos Ramírez. Present. Karina Yamilet Espinosa Aventura. Present, teacher. Ken Elizabeth Vanegas Lemos. Luis Enrique Bonilla Sosa. Marilyn Elizabeth Rodríguez de Pimentel. Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Maide Lichitis Díaz Rivera. Present. Nancy Lisa Rodríguez Escoto. Present. Sandra Yamilet Velázquez Beltrán. Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Eh, Silvia del Carmen Flor de María Rodríguez. Present. Víctor David Salazar Calzadilla. Walter Daniel González Pérez. Present. And William Eduardo Pérez García. Present. Thank you very much. Now we have here the examples that we have. Victor, we're working with simple present. Try to write examples using the simple present uh, from the board. Gilberto is not playing the guitar right now. I am walking on the moon, on the moon, on the moon next year. Is Gilberto playing the guitar right now? I am going to the supermarket next week. I'm not going to the supermarket. Am I going to the supermarket? You are using the internet. Yes, I am, my daily. Jose is learning a new sport every two weeks. Temporary situation. Very good. Cristian is cooking right now. Julio and Tomas aren't playing football, football, soccer. Only football or only soccer? Football is like American football. And soccer is like the one we watch. La Alianza, Paz, y todas esas cosas. Is Brandon living with her parents? With his parents. Brandon, I think it's a boy. Creo que Brandon es un chico. ¿Quién tiene un chuchito ahí ladrando? Por favor, apaguen su micrófono si tienen perritos. Okay, I'm staying to work longer. Very, very good. Very good. Are you coming to visit us in December? Teacher, una consulta. Ajá. Eh, yo leí hace poco la palabra weekend, pero la vi con una D, parece al final. Sí, es con una D. Es con una D al final, ok. Yes. Yo pensé que solo era la N. No, es con una D. Okay. Very good. Ok. 
ok? Very good. No veo los ejemplos de Nancy, los de William o Alberto. No veo ejemplos de Karina, de Marlon. Ahorita, Marlo, teacher. Solo estaba, escribiendo, solo estaba escribiendo. I'm going to eat fishes, fish with cream tomorrow. I will not go. No. I will. No. No estamos viendo I will. Daniela is cooking dinner for all. Pablo is drinking coffee right now. Coffee. Coffee. For all. They are playing a game more than new iPad. Luis Enrique, solo el primero estaría bien. Los otros dos no están en el, la forma verbal que estamos viendo. I am in classes right now. No, Karina. Esta oración no es con present progressive. No tiene verbo to be. Bueno, solo tiene el verbo to be, pero no tiene verbo with ing. She isn't swimming. What is swimming, Jose Matías? Swimming. No, ahí dice swimming. Daniela is not cooking dinner for all. Cristina, le acabo de poner ahí for all. Walter is eating hamburger in this moment. Ah. Me comí. Pongo mute. Me comí no de Okay, he isn't swimming with his aunts. I'm cooking my mm, cannibal. I'm cooking my baby in this moment. No cocina su bebé. A ver, Por favor. Poner Walter, no cocina su bebé. Claro que sí. Porque no lo hice bien. Walter. Walter dice, I'm cooking my baby. Está cocinando a su bebé. <laughs> Are you cannibal? I'm not just saying to her. Who am I talking to? Teacher, I lleva talking do, to me. I lleva dos M, ¿verdad, teacher? Así como le he escrito Maidely. Sandra is calling her mom in this moment. Karina, no veo sus ejemplos. Is Daniela cooking dinner for all? Amy is not angry. No, Luis, no estoy siguiendo la estructura. Mira la estructura que está ahí. Subject plus verb B plus verb with ing. Angry no es un verbo, es un adjetivo. She's, she isn't sleeping. Ok. In this, my, uh, William, she is, she isn't sleeping in the night. She isn't, pero ya puesto doble negativo, isn't not. Marcos is speaking with his mother, his mother in this moment. Marcos is not speaking with his mother in this moment. Mm -hmm. On weekends, is your dog chasing those cats? No. Okay. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Very good. Marilyn, Marilyn is cooking last night for lunch. Excellent work, Marilyn. Okay. Now we have the examples. Right? Recuérdense, debemos tener un verbo. ¿Qué verbos tenemos? Right? Tenemos que utilizar verbos de acción. Right? And listen to this carefully. Okay? I'm going to show you here. My teacher isn't selling his car. Okay? Good, good, good. Yadiel is not... No, Luis. Mm -mm. No me está poniendo un verbo. After is not, usted está escribiendo un adjetivo. Las oraciones están bien, pero no son oraciones con present progressive. Esas son oraciones con, simple, con el verbo to be solamente. Okay. Am I sleeping after the English class? No, I'm not. Very good, Matías. Solo que recuérdese, am con mayúscula. English con mayúscula. My wife is sleeping right now. Very good, Walter.
let's fix this one. Okay. Keep on working here. You are dancing along. Yes. That is perfect. Let me show you here. One moment. Bam, 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 bam. One second, please. Okay. I'm going to show you right now that there are some verbs that we cannot use with the present progressive. Hay algunos verbos que no vamos a utilizar con el present progressive, okay? Eso quiere significar que vamos a poner atención, right, para estos verbos que no podemos utilizar, okay? La mayor parte de los verbos que vamos a utilizar son aquellos que podemos expresar una acción, right? Silvia, pero ¿cómo hacemos eso? Very simple, right? We just pay attention right, to those verbs, right? That we can actually use, like the ones that we can, for example, mimic. Si podemos hacer una mímica con ese verbo, right? Then we can use it for sure. Ahí sí lo podemos utilizar. Si no podemos hacer una mímica con ese verbo, entonces no lo usemos, right? For example, Right, let me show you here. Dun, dun, dun. ¿Todavía no pueden ver mi Swimming. pantalla? Sí. No, teacher. Swimming. Swimming is a verb that you can use. Ustedes pueden utilizar swimming. Right. Why is a verb that you can mimic. Right. This is swimming. Mm -hmm. swimming. Right. So you can say it like that. Right. Now, let me show it to you. One moment. Okay. Can you see my computer? Yeah. Now, after the explanation that we have from this, right, we need to pay attention that some verbs are almost never, recuerdense de los adjetivos, almost never, casi nunca, they are almost never used, right, in the present continuous, right? They are almost never almost never used in the present continuous. The most common are, los verbos que casi no vamos a utilizar nunca, right? they are agree, be, believe, belong, care, forget, hate, hear, know, like, love, mean, mind, notice, on, remember, Seem, suppose, understand, want, and wish. Right? But Silvia, why not? ¿Por qué no, Silvia? ¿Por qué no los podemos usar? Because these are verbs that they are not, they, are, they don't help us to express activities, right? They help us to express feelings, right? They help us to express emotions. For example, love, right? That's an emotion. Right, they help us. These are verbs that they don't have an action, right? Son verbos que no son de acción, right? So therefore, since they are not a verb of action, right? They cannot tell us a temporary situation. So you cannot say, for example, here I have, I love you. You use it and you say it with simple present, I love you. You cannot say, I'm loving you. Right. If you hear someone that says, I'm loving you, that is incorrect. Okay? You're going to say, I love you. You cannot say, oh, I am remembering. Mm -mm. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Si oyen que están utilizando este verbo con ING, no está bien. Of course, of course, hay algunas excepciones, right? Hay algunas excepciones que son súper chiquitas, 
right? ¿Qué podríamos ver? Right? Pero, right? La regla, la regla principal es no utilizarlo, right? La regla principal es no utilizar estos verbos. Entonces, no puedo decir, I am, I am wanting. I am wanting. Uy, no, ¿qué es eso? Right? No podemos decir, I am wanting. I am forgetting. No, I forgot. I forget. I am believing in you. No, I believe in you. Estos verbos los vamos a utilizar sí. si vamos a expresar una acción. Eh, en el presente utiliz los utilizamos con el simple present. Okay? No con el present progressive. Okay? Entonces son verbos que mm -mm, me los sacan de su lista para la práctica. ¿Estamos claros? I don't remember. I don't remember, exacto. No va a decir, I am not remember. I am not remembering right now. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Right? Esa es la forma correcta. I don't remember. Very good, Matías. Entonces, ¿entendemos que estos verbos son los que vamos a sacar de, del present progressive? Yes. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando hagamos ejemplos, no utilizamos estos verbos. ¿Ok? No los utilizamos. Poco a poco les voy a ir enseñando yo las excepciones. Ok, les voy a ir explicando. Pero para mientras, no los utilizamos. Ok. Ok. Seguimos. Ya los copiaron. Ya le tomaron el screenshot. Ya copiaron los ejemplos. Qué ¿Mm? Sí, sí. Okay. Very good. Recuérdense que dice almost never. Casi nunca. Ok. Por eso es que hay excepciones. Quiere decir que uno, dos, que tres, como dicen por ahí. Right. Y el verbo to be, aquí está, el verbo to be aquí está, pero no porque está, no lo vamos a utilizar como verbo no. principal, sino que solamente como auxiliar. ¿Ok? Solamente como auxiliar. Quiere decir con I am, he is, eh, they are, pero como verbo principal no lo usamos. ¿Ok? Eh, sí, Matías. No, es que estaba leyendo ahí la palabra hair y me suena que es cabello. Here. Uh -huh. Here. Here. Escuchar. Oír. Uh -huh. Here. Here. Pero, ¿verdad que se escriben igual, verdad, Ticho? No. Ni se pronuncian igual ni se escriben igual. Hair. Uh -huh. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. ok. Y el que dice notice, notice, notice. 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 Oh, notice. I notice there are some people. I notice that Victor is in the class. Right? Notice, darse cuenta. Ya me di cuenta que ya regresó a clase. Ok. okay. Are we good now? ¿Sí? Una consulta, teacher. Eh, yes. que, no sé si tal vez que tendrán estos verbos en, 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 en general que, que para no usarlos con bueno, ah, en, en el... no los usamos porque como les decía son verbos que no expresan acciones son verbos que expresan emociones o sentimientos mm, emociones. entonces por esa razón no las utilizamos con el simple present con el, eh, perdón ah, con el present progressive porque expresan emociones o sentimientos. Ok. ¿Eh? Pues sí, ya me quedó claro. Ok, perfecto. Okay. ¿Podemos seguir? Yes. Seguimos, sí, ok. Seguimos. Right. Como acá tenemos el primer uso, we use the present continuous to talk about activities at the moment, activities at the moment of speaking, right? or things that are happening now is the same. You can say, I'm just leaving work at this moment, right? Right now, I am leaving work at this moment. So some sort of ejemplos, I will be home in an hour. Please be quiet, right? The children are sleeping right now. Please be quiet, right? The children are sleeping right now. Be quiet. Right? Be quiet. Be quiet. Okay. okay? Be quiet. So we continue here. I I'm going to show you some activities here. 
right? And look at these pictures. We have Los Angeles or Los Angeles, 4 a.m. Mexico City, 6 a.m. New York City, 7 a.m., right? In Los Angeles, what's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now, right? In Mexico City, 6 a.m., what's Marcus doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. Getting up. In New York City, 7 a.m., what are Sue and Tom doing? They are having breakfast. Si podemos ver, aquí estamos viendo una WH question. ¿Va? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? A las yes no questions que ya sabíamos crear, solo le agregamos la WH word al inicio, así como ya sabemos nosotros hacer. Right? We can say, for example, at this moment, right? What is Alba doing? She's drinking water. Right? What is Nancy doing? She is paying attention. Right? Now, what is Marlon doing? He is falling asleep. Right? Then, those are the activities that they are performing at this moment. Now, we look at this. Miren los ejemplos. Take a screenshot of this, please. Of the questions and the possible answers. Right? Questions and possible answers. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Tome un screenshot primero de este ejemplo. Cristo. ¿Ya lo tiene? Yes. Yes. Ok. Now we have the exercise. In the exercise, right, ya lo voy a hacer más grande acá para que puedan tomarlo mejor. Right. We have Brasilia, 9 a.m. What is Celia doing? London, noon. What are Jim and Anne doing? So what you're going to do right now is that you're going to look at the pictures, right? You are going to look at the pictures and you are going to write examples, possible answers of what are they doing based on the pictures, right? Usted va a escribir sus ejemplos, seis ejemplos, seis respuestas. Ya están las preguntas, right? Y ustedes van a escribir las respuestas con base en lo que pueden ver en la imagen. Right? What can you see in the picture? Por favor, tomen una captura de pantalla. Porque esto sí va a ser trabajo en equipo. ¿Ya tomaron la captura? Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Lo voy a quitar entonces. Right. Now that we have this, right, we are going to work in pairs. Se fijaron el primer ejemplo, verdad? La pregunta que ustedes van a recibir casi siempre es, What are you doing? What are they doing? What is she doing? ¿Qué están haciendo? Para hacer el, para trabajar el modo del activities that are happening at the moment of speaking, right? Activities that are happening right now. Esa es la pregunta que utilizamos cuando queremos describir qué estamos haciendo. What are you doing? What is she doing? What are they doing? Right? So what are you doing, Silvia? What are you doing in this moment? I am in English class. Oh, sorry. I am. I am taking English class. I am taking English classes. Okay, very good. I am taking. Ahí está el present progressive. Right? Entonces, eso vamos a hacer. Vamos a trabajar en pareja. Vemos las imágenes. Respondemos la pregunta con base en lo que podemos ver en las imágenes. Is that clear? Yes? Is it clear? Claro, como la horchata. Ok, very good. ¿Los demás? ¿Solo Silvia entendió? ¿Los demás? Yes, ¿Aún bien? Teacher. Yes, yes teacher. ok. Let's go. Ya se hacía falta escuchar lo de la horchata. <ríe> Vámonos en grupos de seis. Vamos a participar, seis. por favor. De tres, seis. Seis grupos de tres. <ríe> Let's go. Let's get to work. 
Wait. Give me here. No. Okay. Let's go now, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Luis Enrique, Walter, Sandra, por favor, escojan su equipo. Luis Enrique. Walter, Sandra. Sandra, váyase su equipo, por favor. Sandra y Amilet. Yeah. Hello there. Hola. Ya está aquí Marilyn. Marilyn, la, la cambié de equipo porque bueno. la cambié de equipo, Marilyn, porque no, no, Sandra no se pudo conectar. No sé por qué no se pasa la clase. Ok, teacher, está bien. Ok. Solo que mi, mi cámara es la computadora que no sirve, por eso es que se queda congelada la imagen por ratos. Pero sí, aquí estoy, chicos. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok, bienvenida, Marilyn. Thank you, thank you. Vamos, vamos por el dos, ¿verdad? Sí. What are Jim and Anne doing? Okay. They are having lunch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Así nos uh, queda. Sí. ¿Usted qué está haciendo, Mayroli? Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, William is having some problems with the internet at this moment. So, Victor is going to be with you. Okay. Victor, okay. are you there? Okay. Victor David. Hola. Okay, por favor, trabaje con Carla y Mayroli. Bueno. Do you have any question, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta? Marlon, Cristina? Mm, I think no. No? No. Uh, teacher. Yes. Yes. Well. yes. For example, in, in your city. You can say at noon by the hour. In your city. 12 p.m. ¿Cuál es? London? Oh, in your city. No, in, mm -hmm. with, when it's zero, zero, it's midnight. At midnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Midnight. Thanks, 
or you can use 9 30 p.m. también. Como no nos da una hora, puedo utilizar la hora que tenemos ahorita. Okay. Uh -huh. Thanks. Perfect. Any other question? No, kids. No. Walter. Walter. No, tampoco. Okay. See you in a moment. In slow motion. In slow motion, exactly. Okay. See you in a moment. Uh -huh. Dinner, va. Sí. Dinner es la comida, va. Aquí le llaman. Es la, la cena, cena. Ajá. Ajá. Cena. Ajá. Ajá. Es la cena. Me gustaría, pero hoy mismo agarré una clase de siete y media a ocho y media. Vengo saliendo ahorita de metro. Ajá, entonces. No le creo. Difícil. Uchica. Mira, me, me hubiese gustado, de verdad. Pero si hay algún otro horario, sí. Algún otro horario de la, por la tarde, de 12 en adelante. <risa> Mute. <risa> Bárbara. <risa> Fischer, uh -huh. eh, eh, en el caso de, de, de... Porque ya no quiero estar solo poniendo right now, this moment. Uh -huh. no, ¿Qué más le puedo poner para night. decir que? No, pero si le pongo no. at night Es más eh... tardecito, es otro momento ¿eh? no, Ajá, es, es, que, no, es, es que todos estos son para cosas que están pasando en este momento Se puede decir puede right now, now Right now, moment, this moment ah, now, tiene que now. Ser... now, puede poner now, now. In the okay. present Now, no más Puede poner dinner, now. Uh -huh. Puede poner in the present The person. Okay. The o person. At, at this moment, que significa lo mismo que in this moment. At this moment. At this moment. Okay. Oh, no. Yo sé, yo sé, pero imagínate, chica, qué cólera. Qué cólera porque hubiera quedado. Okay. Bueno, yo, yo es que quiero, no, quiero marcar de Hirochi. <ríe> Pero ajá, ahorita ni compu tengo, ¿Eh? está pensándolo bien que, que ni compu tengo. Sí. Teacher, me desconcentra, teacher. Pero qué cosa. <risa> <risa> Vaya, mute. Mute. <risa> Hiroshi. Hiroshi. ¿Qué hace? 
Es que está triste, así que no le podemos decir que está viendo una película de amor, pero... No, 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 no está... Or maybe he is. Por eso está triste. Chateando está. No, lo dejaron colgado ahí en el chat. Uh -huh. oh, watch, yeah. watch movie Roma. Este, ¿Cómo decía, Ticha? De Roman. Romantic. Yeah, she... A romantic. Romantic. Uh -huh. Romantic. Yeah, watching. Yeah, watching. A romantic movie. Watching. Así era, ¿verdad? Watching, the watch, 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 watch. Watching, yes. Watching. Watching. Yo, she's watching. Me comí la té. Romantic. Watching. A, a romantic movie. Dicen, eh, ¿cuál dijo la ticha de que era el. Eh, this moment, that moment. In this moment, at this moment. Hmm. In the present, dijo, ¿verdad? In, ah, in the present. Ajá, ese era. In the present. Sí, okay. la otra dice que estamos haciendo. Voy a aprender inglés. ¿Qué? I am. I am learning. Learning. You're sitting. Esta es la última es personal, ¿verdad, Ticho? Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Exactamente. English in this moment. Studying, ¿eh, ¿verdad, Ticho? Learning, aprender. Studying, estudiar. ¿Los dos pueden ser? Ok. Se acabó el tiempo. Screenshot para quien no haya copiado todavía todas. ¿Ya están listos? Vámonos. Okay, so do you have some answers there? Let's listen to the possible answers you may have. Right, in this moment, but let me just close something here, one moment. I'm gonna show you possible answers and then You're going to tell me your answers as well. Dígame ustedes sus respuestas y yo les muestro posibles respuestas que podrían dar. Right? So we have here, right? We're going to listen to a couple of you. Right? I would like to listen first in Brasilia, 9 a.m. Brasilia, 9 a.m. Silvia, what is Silvia doing? She is going to the bank. She is going to the bank. Okay. She is going to the bank. Excellent. Very good. Uh, Matias, what do you have in your group? Mm -hmm. What? Number one. What is Celia ah, doing? Number one. Number one. Uh, Pay attention. Celia. Celia is depositing in the bank right now. Okay. Silvia is making a deposit in the bank. Silvia is making a deposit in the bank. Very making. good. It's making a deposit. Very good. Look at those examples. Very good. They are giving us more vocabulary. Me están dando más vocabulario. Right. Let's see here. Domingo. What are Jim and Ann doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
London. What are Jim and Anne doing, Domingo? London. Permítame que no tengo la imagen. ¿Cuál es su respuesta? ¿Qué escribieron? London. Uh, they are eating in restaurant in dwelling noon. Okay. They are eating in the restaurant at noon. Okay. They are eating in the restaurant at noon. Okay. What are Jim and Ann doing? Very good. Very good, Domingo. Carlos Gualberto, ¿usted estaba con Domingo? No, ¿verdad? No. Okay, no so tell that. me, tell me, Landon. Yo? Yes, London. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, London. He, uh, they are, they are having lunch together. They are having lunch together. Excellent job. Look at this, having lunch, eating lunch, right? Both are correct. Ambas son correctas. Muy bien, muy bien. Let's see here. The next one is for Cristina Roxana, Moscow. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? It's 3 p.m. Andre read. Andre is read. It's read. Hmm. That is incorrect. Mm -hmm. La pero. Read. Reading. 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 Solamente el verbo le va a agregar ing. Okay. What is Android doing, Cristina? Is... What's Andre doing? It's 3 p.m. Uh, Andre reading. Andre is reading. reading. Very good. Andre yeah. is reading. Perfect. What do you have, Karina? Moscow. What's Andre doing? Estoy preguntándole a distintos grupos. Póngame atención, póngame atención. Entre más repetimos, más perdemos tiempo. What's Andre doing? Okay. Uh, Andre is he, Andre is ready. Days financial report. Okay, very good. Andre is reading the financial report. Good, I love that example. Very good, excellent. Now let's listen to the next one. It's for Miss, let me see another group here. Carla Marixa. Carla Marisa, Bangkok. Bangkok, what's Pernsak mm -hmm. doing? 7 p.m. Permsak mm -hmm. is having dinner. Okay, Permsak is having dinner. Excellent job. Thank you so much. And let's see here, Nancy Lisette. What's Permsak doing? Um, He um, no sé, the teacher que se What's Perms are doing? Look bueno, at the picture. Bueno. Mira la imagen. Writing y in the computer. No. Look at the picture. What's Permsak doing? Bangkok, 7 p.m. 
He's, he doesn't have a computer. Yo no lo miro en ninguna computadora a él. Mm, me está preguntando el muchacho que come la cena. Algo así. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's perms are okay. doing? Okay, okay. Perfecto, eh, He is eh, acting. Acting. He is eating, okay? He lunch. is eating. It cannot be lunch. No puede ser lunch. Lunch is en la mediodía. Almuerzo. He cannot Dinner. be eating lunch. It's 7 p.m. Dinner. Okay. Dinner. He is eating lunch. Okay. Now let's see Hiroshi, Marlon. What's Hiroshi doing? Tokyo, 9 p.m. Okay, at 9 p.m. Hiroshi is checking emails. He's checking emails. Very good. Hiroshi is checking emails. Very good. Alfredo, what's Hiroshi doing? Hiroshi is watching the romantic movie, movie in the present. Okay, very good. Hiroshi is watching a romantic movie. Excellent. Victor, what is Hiroshi doing? He's watching report. He's watching? Watching report. Watching reports. Reports. Repeat. Report. Reports. Report. Okay. Now, let's see here, right? In your city, right? The last one. The last one is open. Right in your city, Marilyn. What are you doing? I am doing my English exercise. Okay, perfect. I am doing my English exercise. It's very good. What are you doing, Maideli? I am writing the answers. I am writing the answers. Excellent. Alba Dinora, what are you doing? I am practicing English. I, I am practicing English. Perfect job. Uh, Walter Daniel, what are you doing? I am studying English. I am studying English. Perfect. Nancy Lisette, what are you doing? Please read email. No, what are you doing? La última. What are you ah, doing? La última. She is a working in their city. Okay, what are you doing? ¿Qué está haciendo usted? What are you doing? I I am Perdón, I study I, I study English. I am studying English. I am. Repeat. I am studying English. Okay. Cristina, what are you doing? I am studying English class. I am studying the English class. Very good. Now, we have those examples, right? With this. The book is giving us other examples, right? Veamos. I am, I am taking English classes. Luis, le falta los verbos. Tenemos que aprender no los verbos, Luis. I am taking English classes. Taking. I am taking. Now, they are giving us other examples here, which are good. Los de ustedes están mejor que los del libro, así que no se preocupen. Right? What do we have here? Oops, 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 oops. 
Let me show you right here. Una consulta, teacher. Yes. Nosotros en la de backup, digamos, queríamos ver, agregar, agregar, digamos, con, desayunando. Desayunando no sería verbo, entonces. I am having breakfast. Or I am eating breakfast. Pero en Bangkok es 7 p.m. ¿Cómo va a estar desayunando a las 7 de la noche? Sí, sí. No había visto la hora. Uh -huh. Pero si lo puede escribir. I, he is eating breakfast in this moment. He is having breakfast in this moment. Ambos puede escribir ahí. Uh -huh. Now let me show you here the possible answers. Right. Otras posibles respuestas que pueden tener. Right. Let's take a look at this. Right, and let's read. What's Celia doing? She's going to work, right? She's going to work. Now let's read this one, uh, Maidely. Lea la de London, por favor. London. La respuesta, ¿verdad? Re pregunta y respuesta. What are you and I'm doing? It's now... So they, ¿cómo se pronuncia? It's noon. Uh -huh. It's noon. So they uh -huh. eating lunch. They are eating lunch, okay? They eating lunch. They are eating lunch. Very good, Madeline. Madeline, <laughs> please read Moscow. What Andre doing? Girls working. He's working. He's working. Very good. He's, he's working. Very good. Now let's see here, Carla Marixa, Bangkok. What's Grimsack doing? He's eating dinner right now. He's eating dinner right now. Very good. Alba Dinora, please read Tokyo. What what Irisashi doing? He's checking his email. Very good. He's checking his email. Everyone, please pay attention. Doing, no doing. Doing, doing, doing. Eso es para todos. No solo para para todos. Doing. What are they doing? Doing, doing. Okay. No es doing. Okay. Porque escuché como cinco que dicen doing. Doing. Como que fuera una U, right? No tan latina, right? Do, doing, right? Very doing. good. Doing, exactly, doing. Now, we have seven minutes. Uy, siete, siete minutos pueden pasar muchas cosas. So, let's take a look at this. Tenemos una oración por minuto, right? Y dejando tiempo hasta para la asistencia. Look at this. We have, it says here, unscramble the following words to create sentences. We have the first one says, is Jose tomorrow receiving the new workers? Jose is receiving the new workers tomorrow. Right? Estamos poniendo las palabras, estamos escribiendo, organizando las palabras to create sentences. So let's do them. Tiene exactamente cinco minutos. Right? Five minutes. Vamos, que ustedes pueden. Silvia ya terminó. Of course. <laughs> I am quickly. That's very good. That's the artist. Yo soy la chica superpoderosa. Ah, <laughs> excellent, excellent. Bombón me dice. <laughs> Bombón, pero no asesino. <risa> Como la Un nena. Poquito. <risa> Un poquito. Un poquito. ¿Qué we have there?
finished. The Victor says finished. Very good, Victor. Vamos, five minutes. Four minutes. Tienen cuatro minutos. Porque los 58, paso lista. Finish. 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 Okay, very good. Ya ven que rapidito. Finish. Excellent. Just FYI, July the 5th is the time for Santos Rigoberto Hernández Romero. Santos no está, así que hay un puesto vacante de 10 a 10 y 10. Okay, por si alguien se quiere quedar. Okay, let's see the answers. Very good. We're going to start with the first person here. Victor, what do you have in the first answer? Quickly. And second. Yeah. Mark is sending the letter the next week. The letters. The letters. Next week. Next week. Very good. Thank you so much. Solo háganme un favor todos y borrele D a eso. Solamente pongan next week. Okay. Es un errorcito por ahí. ¿Qué más me dijo que terminó? Quiero ver. Marlon. Then Silvia. Marlon, number three. Okay. Jane is working tonight on the reports. Jane is working tonight on the reports. Very good. Excellent job. Jane is working tonight on the reports. Silvia. And then number five, Matías. And number six, Alfredo. Silvia? Walter is singing the checks today. Walter is signing, signing the, the checks today. Very good. Signing. Le está firmando. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Organizing. Organizing. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Okay. Marina is organizing the presentation in the afternoon. Perfect. And Mr. Alfredo? Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Okay, Guillermo is going to the bank tomorrow. Very good. There we have the answers, everyone, for this exercise. Pretty easy. All of these sentences are for future, okay? Todos son del futuro. Ningunas activities are happening now. Tomen screenshot y nos vamos con la asistencia rapidito, right? Let's see. Alba Dino Ravides Castillo. Present. Alfredo Alexander. Present. Carla Marixa. Present. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Cristina Roxana. Present. Domingo Alexander. Present. José Matías. Present. Karina Yamilet. Present. Tiene Elizabeth. Luis Enrique. Marilyn Elizabeth. Present. Marlon Alberto. Present. Maydele Judith. Present. Nancy Lisette. Present. Sandra Yamilet. Santos Rigoberto, Silvia del Carmen, Víctor David, Walter Daniel, Present. William Eduardo. Present. Okay. Very good. 
So we're going to finish then here, guys. I will see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Practiquen. Ya les voy a dejar las tareas acá para que las vayan trabajando. Ok. Recuérdense, las tareas se entregan los viernes. Nos vemos. Bye, bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye, people. Tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Good dream. Sweet dreams, sweet dreams.